The Sabretooth. Everyone's favorite cat that isn't the Thylacolio, Sabretooth has managed to annoy players in every map in the game. Except Aberration. Sabretooth populations frequent mountains, snow biomes, and anywhere you're trying to tame something. Although simple, the Sabretooth manages to be quite a refreshment from the Dilophosaurs and Raptors of the world. Capable of holding its own against some quite aggressive foes, here's everything you need to know about the Sabretooth. Sabretooths are very aggressive creatures that target anything they see that is similar or smaller to them. Being typical bullies, they can be extreme nuisances to players early on in the game. As carnivores, they hunt weaker animals and will defend themselves until death. They typically spawn in packs of 2-4 to four and group up against their targets. However, they do not gain any pack bonus, but can still be quite threatening. For any unprepared survivor, they can be lethal. Here are some tips for defending yourself. The best way to neutralize them is using a bola. Bolas completely immobilize them for 30 seconds, allowing the player to either run away or continue fighting. In the case of packs, it is best to use a bola on them before attacking them individually. As for actually damaging a saber tooth, a couple spears to the face will do the job quite well, or some arrows from a bow or crossbow. Make sure to go for the head, as they will take three times the damage, ensuring they will not snap you out of existence. They do decent enough damage for earlier game players to fear, and throwing weak tames at them will most likely get those tames killed. If you wish to use tames against them, anything better than a couple of raptors or carnos will most likely do. Sabertooths are a classic KO tame. A bow with trank arrows is good for the lower leveled ones, and a crossbow works for the higher leveled ones. One must be careful, however, as a Sabertooth's torpidity is close to three times its health. If you don't know, this tends to be the trade-off for KO tames. If the creature has a torpor or health ratio of more than 3 to 1, things get a little risky using bows or crossbows. This means they can be killed before knocked out. My advice for dealing with this in regards to Sabertooth is to shoot them in the body rather than the head with Trank Arrows. This does use more Trank Arrows and takes more time, but makes knocking them out more consistent. If you do shoot them in the head, know the risks. If you do fear accidentally killing them, follow this guideline. Continuously shoot them, probably while they're in a bola, until they either pass out or get very bloody. Since Trank Arrows give Torpor over time, even after you start shooting they can still gain a lot of Torpor. Often you will have to stop before you kill them, and after a couple seconds they might pass out. If you really care about the Sabertooth and don't want it to die, Using an Argentavis or a Quetzal to carry it to a safe place or an enclosure so you can focus on it more helps. A less time consuming strategy than waiting is to bring its sacrifices. A mechanic special to meat eaters, giving the Sabretooth a carcass for it to consume will greatly increase its health, allowing for more trank berating. Once knocked out, all you really need to do is give it meat. It will gain taming faster than losing torpidity, making it simple to put meat in its inventory without micromanaging its consciousness. Being a carnivore, it eats any meat products, although I would advise against cooked meat or fish. Raw prime meat or raw mutton is the best option sans kibble. However, if you do have kibble, it eats regular kibble or better. Once tamed, the Sabretooth can be used in many different ways. It can be an okay attacker, travel mount, and watchdog. Sabretooths deal decent enough damage to be alright group attackers. With a pack of 3 to 4 at decent levels, they can hold their own against much stronger opponents. If you want to scavenge caves early on, a nice group will be perfect for easier leveled caves. The main problem with Sabretooths, however, is that their saddles are unlocked at level 37. This is pretty late for their capabilities, as the player will most likely be prepared to tame them at around the 20s, meaning they are unrideable for a great extent of their usage. Despite their downfalls, they definitely can be useful. They do boast a decent movement speed. That, along with their attacking power, makes them decent travel mounts for easier areas like forests or beaches. Along with pack hunting and traveling, they also make decent guards. Placing them on neutral around your base can add a little defense against potential invaders or aggressive creatures. The Sabretooth is an early to mid game tame that both annoys players in the wild and assists players once tamed. Dealing almost twice as much damage as a raptor and having more health, Sabretooths provide a step in progression that many players overlook. If you are looking for something to fill in your progression, a Sabretooth works perfectly for the 30s. If you want to get a certain creature from ARK done in the future, feel free to suggest it in the comments. To get notified for more ARK content, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.